My buck has just joined the last week's harvest. He'll do. I think uh, you'll do well stocking. If I get to, if I just get to see him, I'm gonna be jacked. Yeah, no doubt. All right. Good luck, buddy. Thanks, sir. All right. Don't come home without that buck. So let me give you a little backstory on that. Me and my buddy Brett just went to dump off the carcass from the buck I shot yesterday, and he wanted to take me for a ride on the Kubota down into the Oxbow and uh, show me this new stand they set up. And uh, as we were driving down there, we saw the biggest buck I have ever seen in the wild. Easily 180 inch with big fork G2s, tending a hot doe, and another buck in tow. So we immediately turned around. He took a shower, grabbed his gear, took a practice shot down here, 80 yards, 10 ringed it. And there's a stiff wind. So uh, this kid's a killer. He's gonna go in there and get that buck or have a good chance doing it. So me and Scott are gonna drop some of these heads off at the taxidermist and uh, wait to see if Bobby gets anything. Hopefully he, uh, he gives us a text that uh, he needs some help pulling out a buck. I'm gonna go pick him up tonight. He's down at the same farm where I shot my deer last night. I am so psyched for uh, Brett. Just jacked up that he might get a shot at that deer. Biggest deer I've ever seen. That's why I come to Iowa and hunt down in Missouri. Just amazing. Hey everybody, Don here again. It is Thursday and it's the uh, next to the last day of our hunt. And uh, as you can see, the sun's coming up behind me. I'm in a ladder stand. My buddy Bobby is about 700 yards that away and he's sitting in one of the redneck blinds, which are awesome. I probably wish I was in one because the wind is supposed to be 35 to 38 today and you can hear it's blowing. I'm in a little cove here. There's a, uh, there's a tree line over there that's about 180 yards out. I got a strip of uh, standing beans in front of me and I'm in a, I'm in a ridge of, uh, of oaks. And I've got a south wind, which is blowing perfect for this stand location. It's uh, does only for me today uh, because I'm uh, already tagged out, obviously. And uh, yesterday I spent the day cutting up my deer. Today I'm going to try to get a doe, either donate or uh, or we'll see if Bobby gets a deer or not. Uh, I might give him the meat if he doesn't get one, but I'm counting on the fact he's going to get one. He's probably going to shoot a doe today if he gets a chance. Tomorrow we're supposed to have a 30 degree temperature drop. Today it's supposed to be in the 70s and the wind's supposed to lay down. So tomorrow will be his last good chance to get a buck. And um, so we're gonna hold out for one more day and uh, see what happens. Stick with us this morning, stick with me this morning. Uh, I'll try, if I shoot a doe, I'll try to get it on film. Not like the buck, hang out. and he just walked right off. That was awesome. I hope I got him on the GoPro. You know, it's kind of far out, but... That was freaking cool. I mean, if it was a... If I had a bow, it would have been an easy bow shot. Nice eight-pointer. Not a monster, but a nice eight-pointer. Very cool. There's that nice eight pointer. Walking across that point. So when I 
saw that buck, he was right there coming behind this tree. Literally walked right, right there. For whatever reason, I could not get the phone going, but I got him on the GoPro. And then he ran up over that ridge. He followed us to the point. He went up over that ridge and he went into that timber over there, which is headed towards Bobby. So hopefully he gets a look at him. There's a lot of terrain between here and there, and he could go any different way, but keep our fingers crossed for Bobby. So the action's been really slow. Bobby hasn't seen a thing. We've been in here for about three hours. And uh, I saw that eight point come into this cedar thicket. So I thought I'd take a little bit of a poke through here and see if I could push something out. Maybe Bobby could uh, get a look. We're gonna just, I'm just gonna poke up through here real, real slow, real quiet. Look at that rub. That one made no, by no little buck, that's for sure. There's another one right over there. <clears throat> that eight pointer I saw came over into here, so I thought I'd just take a quick slow poke and see what happens. This deer trail is like a goat path. Look at that. Fresh cedar rubbings right on the ground. Awesome. And you can see the trail just goes right up into that clearing. Well, I pushed through that little cedar thicket over there and I jumped a, I thought it was a spike horn. And I jumped a toe. They both ran out of there. There's a, he's got another ladder stand right here in front of me, and I'm right on the border. I'm sitting on a bale of hay, and uh, I can see across here there's some beans, and there's a thicket over there. So I'm going to sit here for about an hour or so and see if anything comes out of that thicket. And I think me and Bobby will probably call it at 11 o'clock this morning and head back to camp. They don't like getting up and moving in this kind of weather. I jumped two deer, bedded in the cedars, and that's where I expect the deer are going to be, bedded in the cedars. And I don't want to be busting through the cedars around here, so. It's about 20 after 10. I'm going to start making my way back to the Jeep. I told Bobby I'd pick him up at 11, so. This morning is uh, it was cool to see that eight-point buck. Saw some turkeys, jumped a couple of deer. Fun morning. I like being on the ground, but I like that tree stand is awesome. This one here looks like it would be a pretty good location too. Especially there's a gap right here that goes to the neighbor's property, and it looks like it's all CRP. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if the deer cruise the CRP and come out to this field at night. Day here in Missouri. Total.
little change in the weather since yesterday. We're about 30 degrees colder than it was yesterday. And it's going to be a nice morning. Very little wind compared to yesterday where it's 35. So I'm in the same stand I was yesterday. I'm going to sit in the morning and then I'm going to call it a trip. Still trying to get a dough for some extra meat. <clears throat> Bobby's up in the redneck and he's going to pull an all day or he's still trying to get his buck. So I'll sit back, relax, and let's see what happens. Well, the deer are definitely moving. I've been hearing some shots in different areas. But I've just had three does go by up here at about 300 yards. Three more just went by the same route those ons took. All headed towards a stand that Bobby sat in a few days ago. It's a little creaky. He didn't know if he wanted to sit in it again. Seemed like a lot of deer going by that. Let's hope some come this way. Cool. Oh, there's some over there. They're going into that bedding thicket. Three more does going right into that thicket. Man, that place is just a deer bedding area deluxe. So that's three, six, seven, nine. That's ten deer so far this morning. Six of them went that way and those four went that way. It's Friday evening. It's about quarter to five and I'm headed in to pick up Bobby where I dropped him off at about 5.30 this morning. Pulled an all-dayer. Hoping he's got some stories to tell. I'm sure he does. Let's get in there and pick him up and then we're headed home to New Hampshire early tomorrow morning. We'll see you when we pick up Bobby. All right, well, Bobby, this is our second year to Missouri. What are your thoughts? Great. I had a blast. He didn't tag out, but that doesn't always matter, right? I mean, and, it, and it wound up being uh, what a what a fitting day to, you know, all-day hunt and just wound yeah. up being the greatest day. So there you go. Yeah. You don't always have to kill a buck yeah. to have a great hunt. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, 10 hours into my 22 hour drive home stopping in northwest Ohio looking for a Bass Pro Shops that's what I'm looking for uh, let's see Look at that! It's the Schickster! What's what, happening? What gave me away? My license plate? Yeah, right? <laughs> hey, check it out, folks. The man, the myth, the legend, CJ Harder. I'm not even supposed to be driving. I was thinking Lori was probably going to bring you, but no. She just bundled up on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was really cool. Pulled in here and ran into CJ and, I mean, We've been talking about getting together and going hunting for the longest time and like, hey, what the? <laughs> it's the Sixter. Can you believe it? What are you doing back there? <laughs>